Hey guys, welcome back. I know it's been a really long time since I last uploaded a video, uh, but I've had a request how to replace the default CS weapons uh, with a different weapon swap in Trouble in Terrorist Town. So, uh, we're going to just jump straight into it really. Essentially what we need to do is we need to go to our Gmod install location. Uh, so, for most people that will be in your local disk, Program Files 86. Um, then inside program files 86 it's going to be inside steam go into steam apps common garage mod garage mod again and then add-ons so basically what you initially need to do is go into steam and find the weapon swap that you want to use so we're going to be using m9k assault rifles for this example but you can use literally whatever swaps that you want uh, you could add them more manually one by one if you wanted to or you could use a, a bulk um, swap pack so this m9k assault rifles has um, all of these different swaps in there so they've got quite a few of them so this is what we're going to be using today now if I just come out of that you can see inside here we've got this m9k assault rifles gma file now essentially what a gma file is it's a compressed version of the add-on um, so we need to basically extract this information in an, in order to um, essentially add it to our server and make changes to it so what we need to do is we need to use a program called gmad um, and essentially it comes as an exe file uh, just like this uh, i'll leave a link to it in the video description below but essentially all it is is a an extractor program uh, for these file types so if we just grab this m9k assault rifles and if we just drag it on top of that file it's going to just extract everything for us now that's going to sit at the bottom here in an m9k assault rifles folder so i'm just going to drag that folder to my desktop but you can drag it wherever you want as long as you've got access to it um, and then we're just going to get rid of that gmad extractor so the next thing that we need to do is just open up this folder and you should see something similar to this now essentially where we're going to be working mainly is inside of this lua folder now this may be different depending on what sort of swaps that you're using but essentially you need to get to some sort of weapons directory or some sort of entities directory where you can see all of the weapons so these are the weapons for m9k so you've got acr ak47 ak74 etc um, and essentially we need to access one of these weapons or all of them depending on how many you want to add so inside of this m9k acr um, we're just going to probably do three or four of them so inside share.lua if you open that up uh, i'm opening this up in visual studio code uh, but you can use notepad plus plus or whatever text editor that you want to use so the next step is for us to set up the ttt swap itself so for right now this doesn't this swap doesn't work with ttt because it's not configured to so we essentially need to configure it to work with ttt now to start off with we need to change the swept.base so i'm just going to cut this swept.base and i'm going to add a little section here for ttt uh, swap info so just so i know whenever i'm editing it i just need to edit this little bit <coughs> So essentially what we need to do is add that swept.base in, but we need to change um, Bob's underscore gun base or whatever whatever it is, because that might, that will be different depending on what swept you're using. We need to change that to weapon underscore TTT base. And that basically configures the weapon to work with the TTT base. Um, the next thing that we need to do is require is another required setting, and that basically is the weapon kind so if we do weapon swept dot kind um, essentially swept dot kind lets you specify a weapon so we're going to just there's, there's a bunch of them that you can choose from uh, these are all of them so weapon pistol heavy need equipment one so there's loads of different ones that you can pick from there so we're just going to say weapon underscore heavy just because that works with what we need um, the, the next thing we're going to do is just make that equal to that weapon underscore heavy. Um, so that needs to be like so, rather than so that's not in speech marks that bit. 
the next thing that we need to do is define the ammo type. So we're going to do swep dot ammo ent, which essentially will allow us to pick from the the ammo types that TTT offers. So these are the different ammo types. So you've got pistol, SMG, revolver, 357, and buckshot. So these are different kind of ammo types that you can pick. Uh, I'm going to just use the SMG one for right now. So we just need to make that equal to this item ammo SMG. Um, the next thing we need to do is define the icon. Now this is only really relevant if you want the weapon to be used by inside of the traitor menu or inside of the det det detective menu. Um, so you can literally just put that in. Now this is essentially a little snippet that allows you to ha pull through the icon. So we're just going to need to go ahead and find the icon. So if you go back to your uh, your add-on directory and go to materials vgui something like entities weapons or something like that to where you find these .vmt files. So that it will be some sort of path similar to this materials vgui and then something and then they, you should find them in there. So if we just find the, which one are we editing? ACR. So if we just find M9K underscore AC dot VMT, we could just go ahead and copy that name. And essentially what we need to do is just restructure this um, to be whatever our base is. So if you look at the file structure, we go materials, VGUI, entities, and then M9K ACR. So we need to just type that in VGUI slash uh, slash entities slash m9k underscore ACO. so you don't need the dot vmt for this bit but there's a section down here where we will need the vmt so what we basically need to do is in, in order for the client to download the file uh, the icon so that players don't get um, a missing icon essentially we need to add it to the server download so if we do if server then, so basically that, that's just saying if it's coming from the server, we do resource to add file, um, and then we just need to specify that path again. So it's the same as this, but we need the VMT and we also need materials. So it's the exact path. So materials, VGUI, entities, slash uh, M9K ACR. And then we just need to end that. So th this basically adds the resource to the server. So next we need to just go to add in to make sure that it's auto spawnable. We just need to make one more change. So if we do swep dot auto spawnable and then make that equal to true, that will be basically spawned around the map essentially. So that is in a nutshell, that is all we need to add to this file in order to, to get it to work with the TTT base. So we're just going to go ahead and open a couple more of these weapons up. Um, so if we go to Lua, weapons, let's add the AK-47. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste this just for ease. <clears throat> and like I say, you just need to make sure that you remove this existing base so that it doesn't overwrite it. Uh, and we'll leave all this the same. The only thing that we obviously need to change is the icon. So I guess that's going to be AK-47. <coughs> and I guess this one's going to be AK-47 as well. Uh, and we can just check that quickly, which will be materials, figure entities. Yeah, AK-47. Uh, so that is essentially the AK-47 added. So it's really easy to do once you've got one set up. It's, it's a really easy job to add another one. So we'll just add the, let's add something different, M4A1. Okay, so once again, just need to copy that. Delete the base. Add that in. M4A1. I imagine it will be that. 
we're just going to go ahead and put that down here, that add inf uh, if server then add resource we just need to put that here as well which i believe is m4 m4a1 um, but just make sure that that, that file is right so that's all added now um, that should all work so all we need to do now is kind of close out of that text editor we need to drag this folder into our server so if we basically just go ahead uh, find our server so mine's local but uh, yours might be via FTP or whatever it is so you basically just need to upload that into your add-ons folder just like you would any any other add-on um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and drag this into that folder and then I'm going to start up the server and then all we need to do then is connect to it and we should start connecting and it should download those two files that we needed if I just go ahead and add in a bot to this so that the game starts so I've just got these um, weapons set up but obviously on your TTT map they, they'll, they'll just spawn normally so you can see that now I've got the ACR So that's been added into the game. Now, um, in order to delete, I've already done this, but in order to delete your default weapons from TTT, what you need to do is go over to your server. Um, so if you imagine that this is your server, because um, this is just one that's local. So if you go into Gary's mod and then if you find game modes, Terror Town, uh, go into Entities, Weapons, and then you'll have all of these weapons in. So in order to delete the default ones, all you need to do is find the ones that you want to remove. So remove Shotgun, Rifle, uh, Revolver, Pistol, MAC-10, um, uh, whatever ones are there, M16. Uh, so you have to bear in mind that obviously some of these are part of the at the, the kind of ter terrorist menu and the detective menu so make sure that you don't delete all of them just delete the, the weapons that you don't want in the game so for example kind of the 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 scout or whatever you can remove all of those from here so then once you, that's all removed if you go ahead and restart your server um, then that will basically mean that the only weapons that will spawn are the ones that we've added the custom ones so if I just go ahead and restart that server Just one second. If I just connect back to it. Now you should see that the only weapons that are spawning are the ones I forgot to re remove the huge but <laughs> the, the weapons that are spawning are the little custom ones that we've added so you can see the ACR the AK-47 and I believe that's the M4A1 yeah so that's it that's how you get your custom weapon swaps inside of um, inside of the inside of the Trouble in Terrace Town. So I hope this has been useful for you. Uh, if you've got any questions, just give me a shout, um, and I'll be happy to help. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it in a nutshell. I hope this has helped, and I'll see you in the next video.